In this video, I'm gonna take you through a year-end wrap-up report for a client where we spent about $60,000 on SEO and PPC and generated over $500,000 in revenue for the company. Let's get into it. Before I get in the nuts and bolts of the case study, I gotta give you the foundation of what this company is and who they sell to because it's the definition textbook of a boring B2B industry that does not have a lot of online engagement, audience, search volume, all the above. So what they do is they look for companies, businesses that have a ton of square footage in commercial spaces. Think about like a Walmart, an Amazon warehouse that has a ton of lighting in it. So what they do is they help to convert from fluorescent lighting, which is bad for the environment. It's also very expensive to run from a cost point of view and convert it to LED lights. So the way that their offer works, it's amazing. You have to put no money down in order to work with them. In other words, you don't have to pay for the lights, you don't have to pay for the installation. They come in and do everything for free. They rip out all the old fluorescent lights, again, that are very, very energy intensive and bad for the environment, and they replace it with LED lights instead. Now, instead of charging you for that, what they do is they make you sign a 15 year contract and then they share in the energy savings that you pay to them. So they usually save upwards of 50% on everyone's energy bill over a 15 year period. They just basically collect that as their payment. And this is something that's called lighting as a service. You've heard of software as a service. This is lighting as a service. I'm going to walk you through the actual deck that I use to present to the client. If you want access to it, all you got to do is join the blueprint training. It's $199 twice a month. I get up and do presentations like this and I give you all the templates. I give you all the systems that we use for clients. So if you're an agency consultant or in the SEO space, join the blueprint training. It's a complete ecosystem to run your agency in the modern market. So this is the actual deck that I put together for them. Just goes through a little bit of what's inside, milestones completed, a look at the performance, and then what's the way forward for them. So I think it's really important whenever you're putting together a year-end report or any sort of recap report as an agency that you cover everything that you did. Our agency is not really big on work reports or time reporting. We're all about outcomes. But in order to get to outcomes, you got to put in the time, the effort, and the work. We want to make sure that we're communicating that when it comes to a wrap-up report or a reevaluation of our services. We want to make sure that they see our value, not just in the leads and the revenue that we generated, but our insights, our strategy, the work, the quality, everything all the way through so that we can be retained for the long term. So we listed out all the things that we did here. I'm going to get into these in detail right now. Don't worry. Again, if you want access to this, just join the blueprint. You get access to this exact deck. So this is a look at the total leads generated up here in red. This was for the agency that was working with them before we took over right around mid April, right? So you can see that they were really struggling to get leads generated down here in green after we took over in May of 2023 fully see their total leads exploding, increasing a lot from paid search, but also from SEO as well, getting much more consistent, high quality. And these are ultimately the deals that were generated. You can see really all came in the last five to six months. The deal velocity is really picked up. It's really helping to generate quite a bit of extra onto their top line revenue. So now let's talk about what we did and what the previous agency was not doing before, because so many agencies are flat out stealing their clients money in a sense, not intentionally, but just because they just don't know what they're doing. They're not putting in the time, and the effort, or they just don't have the right strategy and direction. They bite off more than they can chew in a sense. So the agency that was working on this before was generating leads for about $1,200 each terrible not to mention those were not qualified leads they were just form submissions really the cost of qualified leads was over ten thousand dollars you could see by the leads that were generated it was pretty much nothing there and the reason being is their keyword strategy was completely wrong keyword intent is one of the most important drivers of success on a campaign like this what i mean is you don't have money to waste on keywords that are not converting because the search volume is so thin. There's not a lot of people that are searching for lighting as a service because they just don't know about it. There's not a lot of people that are searching for, hey, can take my massive warehouse and convert it from fluorescent to LED. There's just not enough market awareness for that to be reflected in the search data. So what you have to do is you have to understand intent and try and derive what people are searching for and then capture them into our offer. It's really, really hard to do if you're not looking at this meticulously. So what the previous agency was doing was really the keywords that they were targeting it was just lazy. They were going after product keywords, which triggers mostly do it yourself or is looking to replace and buy and install their own lights. We needed to go after larger commercial properties where DIY is not an option. But for example, one of the things that they were going after was just straight up product searches. They were saying, okay, when we look at just keyword volume, there are tens of thousands of people searching for LED floodlights every single month. And because this company technically does install and sell LED floodlights, 
parking garages, parking lots, car dealerships, stadium lights, things along that nature. They decided to just bid on those because that's where the volume was. So they were biting the carrot. They were going after the big keywords with a lot of volume, which a lot of people do. And they were saying, okay, if we get enough volume here, eventually somebody will convert. But Google tells us everything that we need to know about intent. Just this search alone, look at what's happening in the search results. It literally turns into a Google shopping result. That tells us right off rip that nobody is looking for LED lighting installation, conversions, anything along that, along that nature. They are just looking to shop and buy and install their own. And again, we come down here, we see all these shopping results and even the new organics, right? Like Home Depot, Econo Light, when you click on these, these are e-commerce results. These are vendors that are selling the lights directly. This is not what the client does. It was a complete waste of budget on these types of keywords. So the first thing that we had to do is we had to, we had to go back and build a brand new keyword universe to find out what are the keywords that are not triggering the shopping intent? Because we can sit here all day and say, oh, okay, yeah, but I mean, maybe there's variations of LED floodlights that are more large scale commercial as opposed to individual consumer. But at the end of the day, Google tells us everything that we need to know. We can hypothesize all that we want, but just putting it into Google is going to give you all the information that you need to know about the value and what's actually people and what people are actually looking for from that keyword search. So we came up with a three pronged approach to keywords and how we're going to test and optimize these. And the first one was going after industry. So the function of them: schools, gyms, prisons, warehousing, airport hangars, anywhere that we knew had the need for this, right? But because people probably weren't even aware of what they were should be looking for, that they're probably just searching for school lighting, gym lighting solutions, LED lights for gyms, prison lighting installation, all of those types of keywords what we want to drive into. Because if you think about it, we're selling something that could be applied to a wide range. That was the biggest challenge here was that the previous agency was trying to look at like an avatar as opposed to a search avatar. An avatar meaning, okay, it's probably a CEO of a large company uh, who's looking for lighting installations, whatever that looks like, right? You can't really do that in this industry and with search. Search is not about avatars. Search is really about intent and what those people are looking for. So we can cluster that intent based on the industry that they were searching for. The next step was going after commercial based keywords. So commercial LED lighting. So taking it out of the hands of the do it yourself or by adding in commercial because commercial has a different level of intent than just the naked product search, right? So commercial LED lighting retrofitting means to change lighting, right? So to go from fluorescent to LED, anything in the commercial space, and then also product plus function, right? So I know I said that we didn't want to go after products, but when we got really, really deep into the intent of this, so like high bay parking lot lights, right? Because this also ties into an industry, right? That we can then qualify by the keywords. If it's a parking lot, it's not going to be one. So what are the products that we knew where it wasn't just going to be one type of product, but it was going to inherently be multiple dozens, hundreds of lights needed in order to fit the need of that search. So this approach took a lot more effort because these keywords did not have volume. And I talk about this a lot with consultant clients inside the blueprint that a lot of the times you have to scale horizontally instead of vertically when it comes to search marketing, because we want to try and get as many good opportunities for the client as possible. And if we're just feeding them nonstop bad leads or we're just burning budget because we're lazy and we're just going after volume as opposed to intent, then you're going to end up in that same position that this other agency did, which was out in the cold. So we spent the time we put in the effort to find the keywords, test the messaging and see what converts. And over time, we dropped the cost per conversion down to sub $200 while simultaneously exploding lead volume is what that should say, actually. So here's a look at our dashboard from May to December of this past year, 63 in spend, 400 leads, $150 cost per lead. And you obviously saw the revenue that was associated with this. This is actually turning into paying clients. And we break it down now based on that three pronged approach, commercial buildings, lights by industry, and then the products. You can see the cost per conversion as well as the volume, the total number of conversions. Commercial industry was what was dominating for us by far the best campaign, the highest converting campaign. And we dive into keywords too. This is filtered by total number of conversions, parking lot lights, commercial lighting services, LED outdoor lighting, retrofitting, et cetera. Now for my SEO nerds, let's get into the SEO portion of this campaign. So the beautiful thing about doing paid and organic, I call this the blended approach where we use paid to really drive and understand what it is that we should be creating or targeting from an SEO point of view. Cause again, a lot of SEOs will just get up here, do keyword research and then create blog content around the highest volume keywords, but it's not about volume, right? We don't want to target the highest volume keywords. We have to understand this is the development industry in the search keywords and the search data supports that there's not a lot of volume around this this is still coming up this is one two three years in development 
So with paid search, what we did is we went after thousands of keywords to test. Like I said, scaling horizontally, even if a keyword has low volume, we can target that and make up for the lack of volume. But with organic, it's not that easy, right? We can't just go out and create, and I know this, this whole thing about like programmatic SEO, which is a huge circle jerk, but you need to build the content, acquire links, and get it to rank. So what we had to do is we had to use what we were given from paid search and build on that. So what we did is we decided to build out landing pages for all the highest converting keywords and then readjust the website accordingly. So commercial lighting for restaurants, this is a huge, huge client for them. And when we sat down with this client in the beginning of the campaign, we asked them, you know, let's look at your portfolio of clients so we can derive some keywords and understand who and what might be searching for what here. Fast food chains, fast casual restaurant chains were a very large client for them, pocket of clients. You know, we started just building out landing pages, targeting that literally just lighting LED lighting solutions for all these different industries. And again, we were pushing this from paid search. Anytime that we were getting conversions from paid search, we started then grouping these into keyword clusters and then started to build landing pages around them organically to rank for them. And when we look at the search performance, again, you can see the massive uptick here in both sessions, organic and keyword rankings from Ahrefs. So you can just see the explosions here in the strategy paying off significantly. And when we look at the keywords, right? These are high, high intent keywords. So what we did, right? So you can see anything here that's lighting as a service. These are going to be the product pages, automobile, right? Car dealership lighting, LED lighting for schools, bank lighting, prison lights, retail stores, restaurant lighting. These are money in a bank. You can see it's not a ton of volume though, right? 90 searches a month isn't going to make or break them. But when we stack these horizontally and we build 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 landing pages that are targeting these these service areas, again, that we know are high conversion based on paid search data, then it doesn't matter if it's 10 searches a month because it's a high intent, high lead focus search. So when I talk about bottom up keywords all the time, this is what I'm talking about, going after keywords that have the highest intent. Then we started building blog content after that, that had one step up intent. So again, fluorescent to LED conversion. This keyword is money in the bank, right? Anybody who's looking to change fluorescent to LED is going to fall right into our offer because going, if they're searching for fluorescent to LED, they know that LED is a better option than fluorescent. So they've done a lot of the research and they're bottom to mid funnel because they're looking to replace fluorescent with LED, which again, falls right into us. I've been beating the drum for search marketers to take a more approach like this, which is conversion focus, revenue focus, lead focus, whatever the main outcome of your client is, that's what your service needs to be around. And I've been talking about it a lot, so I'm excited that I got to show you what this actual look looks like in practice because so many search marketing agencies are struggling right now. And frankly, it's because you're not making your clients more money. You can't just go out and find a bunch of high search keywords, put together some blog posts, watch that traffic go up into the right. And when the client's like, hey, I don't care about traffic, I care about conversions. You're like, well, we did our job. You didn't do your job. You need to fix your approach. You need to fix the foundation of your agency. And that's really what the Blueprint Training is all about. We're giving everything away for you to take this shift in your agency, to be more outcome focused, to build longevity, not just with your business, but with your clients. So you can work with them for six, 12, 24 months. This is what it's about. And I can show you how to do that inside the Blueprint Training. Again, you get access to trainings, Slack, and presentations just like this. All the templates that I, that I present are available to you for 199 bucks. It's pretty crazy. So hit the link below, join the blueprint. If not, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.